Ashe, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for your continued love and support. So let's go ahead and tap into these messages. Tap, tap, tap in, okay? The message I heard is your, there is a change of plan, okay? There is a change of plans, okay? So somebody's plans are changing. Um, maybe you were gonna be doing things one way, but everything is going to be changing and it's going to be happening another way now, okay, or something like that. You could be doing something completely different. Also, you could be setting the t setting the tone, setting the mood for something, making sure I heard just right, making sure something is just right, okay? This could be, um, I'm hearing like spicy or, you know, so it's kind of like you telling like, oh, this is just right, like this tastes good, this is perfect, you know? Uh, that type of energy, okay, but you could be setting the mood for something setting your home the tone of your home, you know um, Or in, just in general, you know uh, also something about your tone. So something about the way you speak 111 on the phone <laughs> Speaking is an alignment for who you are and what you do. <laughs> Absolutely um but yeah, it, it could be something about your tone, the way you say something, the way you, you know, you, you, you break something down, the way that you're relatable. Okay. Uh, that could be very significant here. Um, also there could be something about like Chinese or Japanese or anything like that. Okay. Um, maybe some of you guys eat Japanese food or you guys, uh, love Japan or something of that nature, or maybe you guys are eating Chinese food or, um, you guys could be, um, of those nationalities as well. <clears throat> I'm also here in Guatemala. Okay. Right now I'm just channeling some messages for you guys. Okay. Um, but also there could be something about a winning chance or uh, some type of like winning luck that you may have or you're on a roll, okay? I'm getting like on a roll, okay? Everything you do is very top notch, A1, all right? It's like you, you, it's like you're very honorable, honorable and on a roll, you know, the word play. All right, yeah, you could be a leader. We talk about that, you know? So many of you guys that tap into me, you guys are leaders in some type of way. This could be at a job. So you could be like in a managerial position or just who you are, you know, you just have that boss mentality, okay? Or a combination of both, all right? Um, maybe you have your own business. You're a CEO, you know? You're a sales uh, agent in some type of way, right? So customer service, I'm hearing as well. You could be some someone that's in the customer service industry or hospitality industry. You could be like car sales and how you know real estate, all of that. Trucking, you could be a trucker as well, you know. But I'm hearing boss, a boss babe. So it's like you you a boss, I'm bossy, you know. Also, um, honoring your ancestors, you know, talking about um honor, uh, you know, um an honor roll. But it's like you come from a very smart family, okay. Uh, like, uh, whatever lineage you come from, it's like, they could be book smart, street smart, or a combination of both, but there's some type of high intelligence that is there that cannot be denied within your family. It doesn't have to be everybody is very studious and went to college. No, this could be a whole bunch of shit. Everybody's street smart, or, you know, just everybody, like, everybody got common sense. Let's put, let's say that. You come from an ancestry that truly has common sense, you know? So, yeah, that's the energy that I'm picking up. Also, it could be something about credit cards or debit cards or money, okay, or the way that you're spending or the way that you're, you know, you have multiple credit cards or mo you have multiple forms of payment, uh, okay, 404 is on the phone, but um, so you may have like two bank cards or debit cards, you know, and then you may have three or four credit cards and then you may have gift cards and stuff that you just purchase over the over a certain amount of time or people have given to you. People may give a lot of things to you. You, you could be somebody that people, um, that you're popular or people, you just have a lot of friends or a big social crowd around you or people around you that celebrate you or they give you gifts and so forth, holidays, Christmas. But I see something about your wallet, okay? It's giving me what's in your wallet, Capital One. So Spirit is saying what's in your wallet, all right, is what I am getting here. So it's like, what are you putting in your wallet? What are you taking out of your wallet? Who are you allowing in your wallet? Who are the people that are spending your money? Okay, uh, how are you spending your money? You know, on who, on what companies, all of that. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, who has that access? Even if 
that part it's like does target have uh, access to your wallet type of thing or does amazon have access or does you know is it your kids is it a company like who has all of this access or you know kind of see your what's your, what your wallet is about in different type of ways you know also something about water and you you, you keep in um very hydrated here okay so make sure you're you're keeping yourself hydrated especially you know we're going into you know, summertime soon, you know, we in that, that spring going into summer. So, um, especially, uh, I know y'all been hearing me or whatever, but like just really keeping your fluids and so forth. And I don't get sick and I don't, I'm not sick. I don't even claim that, you know, but, um, that's why I'm in, you know, but drink, just drink up, keep, keep a lot of water and fluids and so forth. But it's it's allergies is what I'm getting. It could just be, you know, allergies and so forth um, that, that you guys are experiencing. Okay, so, but just keep yourself. I'm also getting exercising as well. Going outside to walk or run, you know, things of that nature. Or maybe you guys have a gym at home or uh, maybe you guys have a, a gym membership or whatever the case may be, right? So, yeah. That's the, the energy that I'm getting. That's the energy that I am picking up. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to see what, what messages are here. Okay. Great Spirit, what messages are here? What messages are here for whoever clicks on this message? Teacher. Shout out to all my teachers, 33, okay? The Ascended Masters, okay? Yeshua. Oh, we have Arnica. So what I'm picking up from this is your life experiences has called for you to teach what you have gone through. Or you, there's something significant that you know that's making you this master teacher. With that 33, you, you get what I'm saying? It's like you you eventually will be an ascended master. So while you're here, you your name holds weight. Yeah, I'm picking up your name holds weight. So you, it's like it holds spiritual weight and, you know, physical realm weight. So you need to make sure you do something with that. Like you can have knowledge about different herbs and medicines or just the universe, spirituality in general or something. You're meant to teach that, okay? Yeah. It's like you're meant to like connect with the universe, like howl at the moon. It's like by day you're this, but then by night you're howling at the moon and speaking with the universe. You have some type of, you know different type of connection this is your true form it's like you need to be your true form it, where people can see you whatever this wolf is saying you need to speak that in this human form you get what i'm saying whatever you communicating with the universe here you 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 speaking something that's going out into the universe so it's like ah twinkle twinkle you know all these stars and stuff and glitter and all this stuff what you speaking Okay, so it's going out to the universe. It's being spread out to the universe. The universe got to do something with it. Whatever you're speaking, whatever that conversation is, you need to take from that and share it with the people. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it's, it's like you have some type of knowledge that the people need to know. I'm hearing traps, so maybe it, people are trapped and it'll help them to be like uh, free them, open them up, free their minds. Free your mind and the rest will follow in vogue. Free your mind and the rest will follow. Yeah. 13, something about these threes. 333. Three, three. 919 on the phone. Motherwort, strength. Something about your strength here. This is Leo energy I'm picking up. Yeah, some type of door is open here for you to, to walk through to say, hey, you know, you can easily go from here and you easily got access to spirit. You People want to be around you because uh, you, you have this access to spirit. They, they, it's like your prayers are heard or you speak to the universe and boom, it happens. It's like you're the conduit between the universe and people for those that don't have not discovered it within themselves because we all are. <laughs> Some people are just higher levels of having that connection and relationship with spirit. 
because of the way they nurtured their relationship and their connection and their ancestors. But yeah, definitely something about these threes, three, three, three. Something could be happening like triple time for you. Also, we have mother, mother earth here. Okay, it could be your cycle right now for you ladies. All right, also maybe sit in water. All right, take a bath if you're able to. All right, take a spiritual bath. Cleanse yourself. Create some type of feminine ritual for yourself. Mm-hmm, for your health, your mind, your soul, your spirit. Okay, Take care of the, 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 the goddess in you, the woman in you, the feminine in you. Take care of her. Make sure she's good. Make sure that woman uh, that you see is good. Yeah, it's like nurture nurture the lioness. Yeah, you're this lioness. It's like you could have very long hair. Or you could be around like an older woman or someone that has very long gray hair. Or someone's grandmother that had very long gray hair is coming through. Kind of wizard-like. You know, that's it's like she's here. It's like also she could be Native American, maybe Asian as well, but definitely Native American is here as well or something like that. Th those type of roots are, you know, yeah, she could be a short woman as well, but her heart is open or your heart is open. Show the, the, the soft side, attract to yourself. You deserve a day off as well type of energy is here. Something about crystals, connecting with crystals here. Connecting with the universe, connecting with different plants and herbs here is what I am picking up on for you. Tapping into your spiritual self, tapping into your spirituality here. Yeah, let's see what else is here. Your strength to overcome everything you've experienced as, <clears throat> as this teacher that you're meant to be. Or that you are. I just saw lion's mane. So definitely something about Leo energy. All right. Also, I saw tobacco. And then it, uh, it. I heard like if you smoke tobacco, try to, you know, lay off of that. And look what came back out. Spirit said, I said what I said. 3313 could be your address. And then we got 31. Come on. Can't make this up. 1331 could be your address. Or it's something about the number threes. The threes hit. The threes like the number threes. Yeah, surrendering. We have cannabis, detachment. So again, detaching from those things that are not serving you. Okay, is what I am picking up on here. There's still more energy with this strength here. Because this mother wart came back out. So I'm going to actually read it. And see what it says. Look, there goes that lion's mane again. Boom. And we're just talking about this. You know? And I said I saw that too. So I'll let you guys look at the card. Strength, essence of creation, connecting to the creatrix within. Fertility, birth, creativity, inner trust. The botanical name Lenoris cardiaca comes from the ancient Greek Leon for lion, or for lion, you know, and aura for, for tail, referring to the plant's leaves, which, resemble a, which resembles a lion's tail. Also, ladies, that's what I was going to say earlier. It's something about your reproductive uh, uh, um, cycle as well. Mm. It's giving me someone um, that is, you know, maybe had like um, some type of surgeries and all of that type of stuff, hysterectomies and all of that. Let's see what is here. It says as, uh, let me go back. My bad, y'all. Cardiaca pertains to the herbs action on the heart. As a whole, the name translates to lion hearted, a term that speaks to mother wart's action on the physical cardiovascular system and the emotional spiritual heart. 
Mother Wart has a strong history of use in both Europe and Asia and is associated with aiding mothers and women. It's funny because I said eight, like that someone's grandmother could be Asian. Many cultures have used motherwort to honor their goddess of fertility because of the herbs association with Venus and the moon. It was considered a protective plant, especially useful in spells to guard pregnant women and their unborn children from envy or evil in the air. It was often planted around the home or hung from doorways as it was said to keep away unwanted guests, both physical and supernatural. Motherwort was either smoked or burned to use for smoke cleansing as it would drive bad spirits out of the house. Many species of motherwort were used for heart protection and for counter magic to reverse a curse. Japanese folklore, I just was talking about Japanese early in this, in this uh, reading, remember? Mm, that's wild, right? But okay. Japanese folklore tells of a town where the main water source was a stream fed by rainwater trickling through hills of motherwort. The inhabitants of the village drank daily from this stream and were bestowed with extraordinary long life. Up to 130 years. Wow. They lived to up to 130 years old. Ancient Greeks used motherwort to treat anxiety, depression, heart palpitations, and nervousness in pregnant women. In traditional Chinese medicine, and I talked about Chinese as well, motherwort is used to invigorate the blood. Your guidance for this card says, Like the radiance of a lion's heart, motherwort's energy builds inner trust and confidence. The lion-hearted motherwort is representative of the beauty we possess when we own the power of our gifts and creativity. The goddess sits centered as the lion leans on her, as the lion leans on her in a state of peaceful delight, symbolizing the unwavering faith we must keep as we transcend old fears. Venus, her planetary ruler, is like a midwife to our happiness channeling how we accept and transmit our heart's desires. Find new ways to facilitate creativity that honor and reveal your passions and strength. Devote yourself to the fertility of your gifts and courageously accept your divine destiny. Boy, oh boy, this says so much. One, you may need to get some other war and burn it, okay? Um, however you choose to do that, but burn that in your house because, you know, to kind of remove any type of energies or negativity that could be, you know, just lingering around or anything. And it's just good to cleanse your house in general, you know. So um, if you don't want to use sage, you know, mother, uh, mother wart is a is a another type of um, herb that you're able to use, okay. Or the Lenorius cardiaca, all right. But you guys can Google that and look it up. But yeah, so that, um, burning that, you know, to remove the, the envy and all of that. Also, for some of you guys that are pregnant, um, it, it may um, help you as well there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But also, this is saying to tap into who you really are and live. It's, it's time to be creative, that Leo energy. Uh, you on the proud type of energy. Who are you? What do you do? What what did you come here to dominate? What did you come here to say? This is my territory. You you feel what I'm saying? It's like be the best at whoever you are, that creative energy. You know that you know how to do something very, very great, very, very cool, very dope, very artistic, musically, whatever it is. A few things. It's like be your yourself because once you ain't in this body no more, you ain't in this body no more. So let's just keep it all the way a hundred. So it's like you live out your real true life. Don't let no job take who you are away. Take your days. Take your best days. Don't let no person take your best days. Like you give you your best days. How many summers do you have left? Make sure you enjoying each summer that you get in. You get what I'm saying? Shit. How many falls do you have left? You know, for those of you all that love the fall season, whatever. You get what I'm saying? So, this is really, you know, interesting. And this is that empress energy as well, that feminine energy. So, heavy feminine energy here, like really tapping into who you are. I'm also getting ocean. Okay, again, like I said, sitting in some water, but ocean. Okay, 
this is also giving birth. It's like that empress energy of giving birth to something, that, that water energy. When you give birth to a baby, it's, it's the, the, the baby is birthing or is grown in water. So it's like that's, <laughs> that's what we are. If y'all don't realize, it's like we're water. We come from, like, I'm not even going to get into my whole theory of who, all of that. But, yeah, like we come from the water. So... Yeah, we could be star seeds and all that and experience different planets and so forth. But when we are created on this earth, it's like we come through the waterway. You got to even <laughs> even when you channeling and when you having your altar, you have water on your altar. You got to keep that water clear. You get what I'm saying? And again, like I said earlier about the ancestors. So y'all need to connect with your altars, connect with your ancestors, create that 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 communication portal. For yourself, but yeah, water. But it's something about that significance. It's like rinsing your your yourself or renewing yourself is giving me baptism here as well. All of that. It's like dunking in some water. It's like just maybe you're going to a beach soon or something like that. Taking a shower or a bath or something about just being in the rain water as well. But if you can go near an ocean or something like that, like yeah. But something about this significance of water in general, period. So tap in to creating as this empress and birthing something into this world. What are you putting in this world? What are you birthing? Yeah. So let's see. I'm going to see what else comes out. You can't make this up. We already saw a lion. We saw this with the lion. We saw lion's mane. You remember I kept saying we saw. I saw that, and then I saw it in a book. And then here we got another freaking lion protection. I mean, is it nothing but Leos that's watching, or is it just time to be? Uh, it's like you guys can have Leos in your Leo in your chart, or it, it's just. <laughs> It's just it's something about the Leo energy. Something by go happen by Leo season. Leo is heavy, clearly, in this reading. Tap into your Leo energy. Wherever you have Leo at in your chart, tap into it. Is what I'm picking up. Also, dandelion. You are protected here, is what I am getting. Something about yellow flowers. Yeah, dandelions. I'm seeing here and here are sunflowers as well. But yeah, something about yellow flowers. Also, I'm getting dragonflies. Yeah, ginseng, you are this magician here. Okay. You have the wand. You have the tools. I'm also getting um that king of wands energy here. Even though this is magician energy, I'm still getting that king of wands energy here as well. And this is, uh, which is fire sign, right? Sag, Leo, Aries. But technically the magician is Gemini, Virgo energy. Mm-hmm. You got the will in your hand. Some of you guys may be getting like a witch's broom type of thing is what I'm picking up on for you. Herbs, y'all tapping into herbs and everything else. Also, something about a tassel. It could be like a curtain tassel or like the tassel um, like on like some type of um, a shower curtain or something as well. But yeah, you're manifesting. Uh, it's like you've perfected your manifestation skills. You are protected during this process. Like throughout your whole entire like manifestation process here and what you're doing, just your life in general, you're protected. Touch not my anointed. You you're you're like anointed by the spirit. Some of you guys grew up in the church. Y'all was always at church, vacation, Bible school, all that type of stuff. Your like parents, grandparents, or some could have been like like on the board or actual uh, ministers and all of that type of stuff as well. Or, you know, choir or something like that. I'm hearing choir boy, choir girl or something. Or preacher's kid. Or something like that. But something about church here as well. Something about the pews or something like that. You yourself could be a speaker, okay, as this teacher here. 
But whatever you're being called to do, whatever your purpose is, it's divinely protected because that's what you're being called to do. You see, it's like this lion has angels. So you have angels surrounding you. Angels are around you, keeping you safe and protected. Also something about roses. Also something about elegance. Something about uh, fan something fancy. Something I'm getting like mall energy. You guys could be going to the mall, going shopping. It's like, yeah, this, this, this person is very successful. This lion, this person is very successful here. They may be resting. So you may be resting right now, you know, um, getting things together, getting your plans together, all that, you know, just taking time to like bring it all together. But it's like, this person is very, very successful here is what I am getting, what I'm picking up on the grand plan. Like I said, plans are changing. Something is changing. The plans are changing here. Something, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm going to leave it here, y'all. <laughs> so whatever it is that you're doing, just, just know that um, spirit got you. If plans change, then it was meant to change. This could be a change in, you know, what you're doing as far as your purpose and how you're what you're doing for work, you know, um, some ideas and so forth that you're actually putting into action. This could be uh, something geographical, and maybe you was planning to move here, but then that you can't because that job fell through, so you got to move here or something like that. I don't know. Maybe there's a change in. You know, the plans are changing where somebody is saying, hey, you know, it ain't over. We we, we together type of thing. Or it, there could be a new relationship here. Whatever y'all got going on. Everybody got different stuff going on in their lives. I just, you know, I'm here to, you know, share what the messages are. So something is changing. It's like you, you thinking things going to be one way, but the plans are changing here. Is what I is what I'm picking up on. Whatever you do, you need to go share it with the universe. And that's going to change things as well. Mm hmm. But you are protected. You, you, you know, um, a lot of people depend on you for your strength. Like this is in the middle. You are the core, something about your core and your stomach here as well. Again, fitness, the way you eat, you know, like shaman energy as well. Being outside in nature, you know, doing everything natural here, green juice or juicing and, you know, um, maybe some of you guys are no meat. Okay, you guys may not be vegetarian or, or vegan, but you guys just, or maybe you guys have certain dietary restrictions where you're like, nah, I ain't eating this, or I, ain't, I only eat fish, or I only eat this type of fish, or I only eat no meat, or I'm only vegan, or whatever, you know. But I'm getting like being out closer to nature with how you eat it, how you, you talking to it, and connecting with the universe, all of that. Some of you guys may also have big property or long properties as well. Yeah, some of you guys may have a, like a water feature in your you know your backyard or in your like your front house as well. I see water here. Like or maybe a stream or a lake that runs through the back of your your house or your yard or something like that. But yeah, these are your messages. Thank you guys so much. For your continued love and support, I say you all can book your personals down below in the description bar. I have added a reading um, that's called Housing and Stability for those of you all that, you know, may be experiencing housing insecurities or you just, or maybe you're not, you know, you just want to know about what's going on with your home or with your, your stability and so forth, you know, so you can be, um, live more comfortably uh, I'll say it that way. Uh, th that reading may be for you as well. So go check out the different types of readings that I do offer. All right. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome. And I will see you all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.